Hey YouTube, it's Malcolm's Reptiles, and today I got a bunch of boxes in front of me because the weather in Kansas finally no longer sucks, and it's time to send some snakes to a new customer. So we've shown this before, but I have found that sometimes it's kind of good to go back and reiterate because, you know, YouTube didn't push videos or we have new subscribers, like at least three of them in the last six months. And I want to share with them as well uh, how we do things because I know a lot of people haven't done this before. You're getting to have to do it for your first time and a little bit of questions and curiosity on how it works. So I'm gonna show you, uh, I think we're better at filming this, this is a little bit more pre-prepped, and then we're gonna go over to Patreon and talk a little bit more about some of the ins and outs and things like that about this. So bear with me, because none of these are tied up yet, I just wanna be able to show you the babies. So first and foremost, let's show you <laughs> what we do. So a couple people do things a little bit different. I've already got these boxes made, I'm gonna deconstruct them for you. One, we attach our heat pack, Oh, that one's already getting warm. We did get a bad batch of heat packs, so do be cognizant of that. Uh, we attach with tape, so it's going to set on top like this and provide ambient heat kind of sinking down in between. I then like to use teddy bear stuffing. That should go that way. Teddy bear stuffing. This is what we're going to put in our box to cushion the blow of anything that, you know, should FedEx drop the box, should they decide to play soccer with it in the back room. Whatever the hell goes on in the FedEx ship facility, this is to help that snake be safe. We use a box that comes from Reptiles to You. I'm going to be bluntly honest with you guys. I don't give two craps what company you use. Hopefully they don't watch this and yell at me, but they're not a sponsor anyway, so screw it. You can use Ship Your Reptiles. You can use Reptiles to You. You can use whoever you want because guess what? They're going to sell you the same heat packs where you can buy your own heat packs elsewhere. Don't use hot hands. Use the Uniheat, the ones that are made for reptiles and fish. Hot hands get too hot. Uh, they're going to sell you the same styrofoam, and all you're really paying them to do is to print their shipping label off in your house, right? And that's it. Uh, you can't print the label off by yourself. One, you don't have the license. And two, even if you take your box and you send it in and you get FedEx to go, ah, then you don't do enough volume, most likely, unless you're a bigger breeder. And if you're a bigger breeder, you're not watching this anyway because you already know how to do this, to make it cheaper than using one of the big companies. But you're really paying to use their license to ship. So, you know, it's easy to buy the box when they're already all marked. You are supposed to write certain things like how many are in there and, you know, the Latin name for it and all that crap that nobody ever does, but it's supposed to be done. Uh, so anyway, that's how the inside of the box looks. So we're going to then take, place some stuffing in there. This you can typically buy at craft stores. So like I get mine, at, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. I think that's where I might have got this batch from, uh, sewing stores or wherever. We're then going to take the snake. I'll show you this one happens to be just a little pinstripe. Look at that, looking really good. Beautiful, beautiful snake. We're gonna place it in a snake bag. Now, because I failed knot school in the Boy Scouts, uh, Kurt didn't, Kurt was a good knot tire. He was an Eagle Scout, right, Kurt? Kurt's shaking his head now. See, I try to give him more credit than he earned, but uh, I like to use zip ties. So zip ties prevent that snake from getting out of the bag, which nothing's worse than your customer getting a bag and a snake crawling around. Ask me how I know. Uh, <laughs> Long story short, we had that happen on a snake we didn't ship and a snake we didn't sell, but our name was kind of attached to it because we helped put two people together and then I caught a lot of the heat for that because the guy that shipped it did a piss poor job of it. Even though it wasn't my animal, wasn't my sale and that was clear, I understood why the customer was really pissed and the guy who sold was like, meh, it got there. Uh, he actually did a couple things wrong, which we'll discuss. So bag it up like that, zip tie, it can't crawl through. When you put the zip tie on, I like to hold it here if you saw that. That's to ensure the snake's not up there. You don't want to zip tie the snake, okay? That is bad. And then if you want to, this is an added measure. You can go through here and do this. Now one thing I also like to do is I like to write on these bags the animal's identification number. And you'll see it written, written right, let's see, right there. 20409. Now, if you're only shipping one animal, it's not a big deal, and I wouldn't if I'm only shipping one, because people like to reuse the bags, which, hey, if they want to reuse the bags, do I have more? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. So we'll put that in there. I like to put the knot at the top. Put some more stuffing in there. Make sure it's all stuffed. You know what? Probably want a little more, so I'm going to steal from one of these. I put a little too much in. <laughs> and I buy this stuff by the big, huge bag. Uh, Pack it in there. Some people use newspaper, different things, other things you can use. So that goes in there like this. Then we simply take our heat pack. It goes on there like that. Your goal is not to make the snake hot. Feel that. Ah, you can't feel it because you're watching. Trust me, it's like a nice steering wheel set on a low setting, on a warmed one, uh, for those of you with fancy cars. 
we like to take this and again this is why right on the box i can match it up hey that was a pinstripe and on our sheets it says what it is what caused the breeding its security number what we believe it to be it has some basic care instructions same shoe been using forever it also contains my cell phone number and kurt's cell phone number uh, and it contains a, a web address that no longer works but it also has our email address and our facebook so it has plenty of ways that if a customer has an issue they can get in contact with us um, you know we wanted to make that easy this is not so much a big deal on this one because i've already been in contact with customers already have my phone number but just in case they don't it's there we close that up Whoop, go back and get my tape now you're going to say whoa 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 did you stab any holes in the box it's not necessarily required these boxes are not airtight there's holes there holes there holes there this is not fitting in there airtight these are not airtight boxes now if you're shipping them where it's a little bit warmer then i do put holes in the box but under normal circumstances it's not really a requirement they're going to breathe just fine and you're saying well wait a minute i've done it a lot and i've never had a warm come that was like had an issue with breathing so there you are just like that uh the next thing that would go on of course is the shipping label i'll kind of show you how one of those looks our actual stickers that these go in are at the other house i won't be able to show you one of those but uh this is the one that goes to that and it has a name i'm showing this because it doesn't have an address on it it's just a fedex ship center so you know we would never want to show a customer's actual address you know they may not like that but uh anyway there it is and that's how that label's look it's going to end up in an envelope tape like yay and attach there so that's kind of how that's going to happen so that is how it works any questions about how we do that kurt so you just take this to any fedex facility no it needs to be a fedex ship that's a good question because there's print centers and there's ship centers you need to go to a ship center we have a print center in town located in the middle of town they don't handle this you have to go to the one that's got the trucks that run to it not the one the truck just goes to and drops crap off at so look up fedex ship centers you're going to have one fairly close to you usually within an hour most places for us it's 20 minutes away no big deal if you live in a major city or a major hub it's going to be right there i prefer shipping to go and be held at the hub um, when i have a customer wants to ship to the house which in this case we do have one of our customers say hey i'd like that ship directly to me i always ask is somebody going to be there and if they say oh well i'll be home at this time i can't do it in this case like yep i'm working from home i'll be home all day awesome you're going to be there you'll be there when it gets there because fedex is always really good about ringing the doorbell fedex always kind of just it sucks and think about it this way too for the animal's sake whenever i ship it i'm going to take it i'm going to give it directly to the fedex guy here you go fedex it's in a building right cool beans and then it's going to get on a truck with a bunch of stuff and take about a two-hour ride to kansas city tonight that's going to happen i can't avoid that truck ride gets on a plane pew, flies lands probably in nashville where their hub is gets on whatever plane goes there pew, and flies to its final destination in this case it's going to be in uh wisconsin is that right no yes wisconsin we'll go to wisconsin Shoom, boom it'll land there it'll get on a truck it'll go to the ship center there and there it'll stay so we can go pick it up awesome if you don't do that then that thing has one more truck ride by selecting the highest most expensive form of shipping which is what you should always select it should be with the first thing delivered but if there's 20 things that selected that it may be from 1 to 20 on that truck uh it's going to go on that truck it's going to go on that truck during the weather change it's going to drive wherever uh it's going to drive in a place where the weather is not where i'm at so it's a little more risk i think to do that um but it's even more risky if someone's not there i've heard of fedex hanging them on mailboxes uh we had a fedex guy one time or maybe not fedex i shouldn't name drop them on this i don't remember what shipper it was literally you roll a package down our stairs okay may not have been fedex but we were there we saw it happen they didn't come down their stairs you got taken down and they just kind of blah 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 and it rolled down and smashed into the house uh there were some complaints that were filed on that uh, again i don't remember what carrier it was and it wasn't an animal thank god but some people have a great fedex guy other people have yeah so <laughs> be very careful in how you do that kurt any other questions well, really quick before we go we already showed you that pinstripe i want to show you a few other animals that will be receiving their new home today that way those who are waiting and watch this video can see their snake so right there we have a zebra bee that is going to its new home so i want to give a quick congratulations on that that's going to summer get in there but summer's not getting just that to go with it you can see summer's forming a plan summer's going to get this summer i'm going to tell you now this one might light you up when you get it it's a possibility so she's getting a pair so here is a straight exantic 
uh, that Summer's also getting. Really nice. Put that one back in there. And then over here, wait a minute. Yeah. I got to know who's getting what. Sometimes I got to think who's getting what. <laughs> we have these going to, out to this. I believe these are going to Luke. Is a pastel with a really nice scaleless head. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful snake. And one more. Another little inside trick is sometimes you need to crawl it up and give it a little shake to try to get it to go to the bottom. No, no, we're not wanting shaking snake syndrome. Just a little bit of a make sure it's there, make sure you feel the weight in there. <laughs> Another Xanthic right there, coming home to a new home. So that is what we got going on. Yeah, I know, you want to light me up, don't you? Haha, <laughs> I win. So, if you have any other questions, Carmen, go ahead and hop off here. I just want to show the babies that are going out today. And if you're waiting on babies from us, hey man, we are in the business of shipping right now. The weather is awesome, it will be. So hit me up. If you're waiting on something, let's get it to you. Uh, if you're still waiting to pay, let's get that done and get that sake sent out. We're going to have more babies coming in. So Kurt's been yelling at me, get these racks emptied, and that's what I'm working on doing. And we do have a for sales sheet coming up very, very soon. Anything else you want to add, Kurt? No. Nope. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to start the Patreon. We'll catch you next time.